This 56-year-old male is presenting with a three-day history of intermittent chest pain, period, new paragraph. He describes the pain as a heaviness in his mid-chest with occasional radiation into his left arm, period, new paragraph. He has noticed it over the past 24 hours that he is getting tightness in his chest with minimal exertion, such as ambulating to the bathroom, period, new paragraph. The tightness resolves with rest, period, new paragraph. His past medical history is significant for that of, next line, number one, diabetes, next line, number two, hypertension, next line, number three, high cholesterol, next line, number four, cabbage in 2002, period. So as you can see, um, just simple talking, the normal rate and speed that I do, and I can talk really fast, and I usually talk even faster than that, um, and it kept up. And, you know, I'm just quickly looking through it, and I it, it didn't miss a beat. So um, just shows you how quickly you can you can do that just with talking naturally into into the system and without without helping it. Um, you'll notice I said cabbage in 2002 and it in it a coronary artery bypass graft and it actually you know put cabbage uh, right there, which you know it didn't put the cabbage that you eat. They put it put the actual acronym. So it it knows the context and that's the importance of uh, of when you're training people to use it to ensure that they. They just talk naturally because if they wait for the words to show up on the screen, that's what messes up the system because the system's trying to get the context of what they're saying. And if you just let the system do what it needs to do, it will get it. Um, and that's why you've noticed there was a delay of things coming up on the screen. It's not because the system's slow, it's because the system is understanding what you're saying and then puts out what the best uh, result is based on the context. So I'll give you an example. If I do um, you know, cabbage versus cabbage, this patient has a history of hypertension, comma. They had their cabbage in 2002, comma, which was quite successful, period, new paragraph. The patient also has an allergy to carrots and cabbage, period, new paragraph. So as you can see there, you know, the system knew the context that I was talking about a cabbage, not, a, not the cabbage uh, uh, that you, um, uh, the one that you eat. <laughs> 